welcome to my channel. I'm Julie with Bookshelf by Julie. Uh, and welcome back. If you're coming back to visit with me again, that's always cool. It's nice to have friends. <laughs> um, I'm not joking. It really is. Um, <clears throat> so today what I'm working on is the Cozy Journal. Uh, I have a freebie for you. Uh, I thought this was really pretty. It's got some little uh, dainty roses in it and some background stuff, checks and stuff. So I used this um, to make some of the stuff that I'm doing today. <clears throat> so we've got a few things to work on. I thought I would make a... This is a, a little insert folio that I'm doing just a little one to go in the cozy journal in the back pocket <clears throat> excuse me so I've got a couple of these done um, and I figured well I'll show you how I do it uh, this is pretty simple it's an expandable pocket that I'm gonna put over here on this side on the inside to hold some stuff and then I've got another side over here that I'm going to make a, come along, I just tested this, golly and bob, okay, hold on a second, I got solutions right here, so, yep, I always have a good solution ready for that kind of thing, <sighs> It's, it's one of those things where you just, you turn the camera on and it's almost like you can hear that little twang sound where, <laughs> where um, you know, everything stops working properly, you know. <laughs> I don't know if anybody else hears that or not. It's probably just my, my poor little mind working the way it works. <laughs> okay, so... Simply this, close it up, All right? I did um, this page like so, folded in half like so, pressed it, and then I, I yeah, I double side printed it. So, and then I pressed it and I took a quarter of an inch. Um, I didn't take it. I, I scored a quarter of an inch on each side. <clears throat> Cut that in half. <laughs> and that makes my pockets. Now you can make these any size you want. It's just completely up to whatever pocket you're making. But this is how I put these together. Okay? This is my front piece that's just going to open up like so. I did not back the inside of that because it's really not going to show. I backed um, I matted this and I matted the top flap. Let me take that off now. Okay. So the top flap is going to go over like so. Right? That's the plan anyways. Okay, there's the first one. <clears throat> the second one. And then this is the back. So, tape. I know I've done these a lot of times. If, if you want to a complete explainer video on doing these I'm happy to do that um, or you can go back and watch some of my older videos whatever you choose these are pretty simple to make they're kind of fun and easy I like fun and easy I'm that kind of girl <laughs> not really not really I mean but I do like fun and easy crafting <clears throat> okay so uh, let me move this out of the way somewhere. So I got some room to work in here. So I matted this inside of, of the little folio. I just took a file folder and I trimmed it to the size I wanted. This one is uh if I can find the right side of my this one is four and a half by eight and almost a half. 
No, eight and a little over a quarter. Yep, that's, it's not, it's just whatever size you're working with, make it that size. This needed to fit into that little pocket at the back of the cozy journal, so that's the size I needed. Okay, so we're going to put these, and I'll, I'll, once again, I usually do this from the back first, but this time it'll be on the front because that's going to be, you know, that way. I'll show you in a minute. So I'm going to put these together. <clears throat> Excuse me. This is more of an upright pocket than a, a wallet -y type pocket, but that's okay. I still kind of put them together the same way. I get that back one out of my way because I don't need it right now. So, whoops. I like to get them lined up and straight together and then press them. And then the tape's going to hold and you've got this expandable right in my end shot. Right there, you know, there. So that's what we're going to do. And this will hold some longer things. You don't put too much bulk in this because it's in a little folio going in a little back pocket. Right. But that's okay. Just line it up. I'm not going to show it again. Just line it up and press it. So <clears throat> I'm trying to stay in shot. I really am. Okay. So now we've got our little expandable. And this is I guess I could give you some measurements. I just wanted it to fit inside here, and I wanted this to fit inside here. So, <laughs> there you go. This is four inches wide and five and a half tall, which is, in the U.S., it's half your letter size. That's what I said. Cut this in half. Fold it this way. Press it down. Quarter inch. That takes you down to four inches and then just cut it in half. That's what I did for this. I like to keep things simple. Like I've said before, simple is good. It really is. Okay. Now on this, there's, it's really not directional. <laughs> These roses can go any which way you want them to go. They'll be on my website, julieworthington.com. Freebies tab at the top of the page. And yeah, just... Go on there and have fun with them. That's what I do. Well, that's what I do with these. So, yeah. I'm going to take this off and line that up. Hopefully straight. Because <laughs> that would be awkward if it's not. Down here, you can see I've got a little bit of, uh, like, a smidgen here and a smidgen over here. You just want that smidgen... <laughs> To, you know be there and back up off your um off your fold line a little bit so you've got room and then bring this up and line it up and don't get weird okay there that should work hopefully <laughs> yep that works okay oh I didn't put tape on this let me find the right size tape to put on here this one I'll do I think Excuse me. Uh, so yeah, I'm just having um, an easy crafty time. I love developing these elements and <clears throat> putting them together. And I love sharing them with you guys. Uh, so yeah. All right. <clears throat> Excuse me, gosh. Okay, I definitely want to put some glue on here because I need the maneuverability. <laughs> when I get this on the um, the folio, I want it to stay good, yes. But I also, if I don't get it in the exact right place, I've got a couple of seconds. I hope I'm not shaking the camera. i got a couple of seconds this way to, to move it where I want it to be. Get out the way. Gosh. 
everything tries to crowd you when you're getting into doing something, right? Okay, I want this down here straight-ish. Ish. And straight-ish up through there. All right. Okay. There, there, there. Now you might would say, oh, why didn't you put that on before you put those in? Well, the thing is, when you put those in first, it kind of makes you have that little extra. Now, of course, you can score it if you want to. But you want it to have a little bit of extra down there to hold your bottom of your pockets. That's what I'm going for. <clears throat> oh, I got to do this. Get your head in the game, girl. Okay. This is going on here. And I don't have to really worry about that now because, yep, it's in the right place. Give that a good pressing. Okay. Now we've got that. Cute, 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 cute. Okay. Now we want this to go in here. Like so, yeah, just about like so. I'm gonna put some of this on there. You know what, this one might work better. Looks like it's about an inch. Let's see, yep, this one will work better. A little over an inch. This is an inch wide, <clears throat> this tape. So, The rest of it can be covered with glue. And that's fine. <clears throat> this is just my construction process. <laughs> okay. And my messy desk. Okay. Here we go. There it is. Okay. Now we want that to slide right in there. Straight-ish. Yep. You get enough on both sides to be just... Yep, there. <laughs> okay. That is what I was going for, right? <clears throat> okay. There. Now, of course, you know me. I'm going to put Velcro dot to close that. And I will put some decorative stuff up there. I don't want to bulk this up too much. But, you know, you're going to do some stuff. Because it's just what we do, right? <clears throat> now, for this other side, I have another plan. It's uh, This is the paper I'm going to mat onto it. And I've already got tape on that. But before I put it down there, I'm going to make a... Uh, collage pocket page is what I'm calling it. I don't really do collage unless it's digital or something like this because <clears throat> it gets too lumpy bumpy for me. <clears throat> Excuse me. So this, I like working like this. Um, or making digital collages because I really like those. <sighs> okay. So what I'm going to do is I've got these stacked on here. <laughs> just so so I'm gonna try to stick with my plan right so let me see I'm gonna put this one and it goes right up and under there so I'm just gonna put glue on the sides I have pre-inked it doesn't need glue on the bottom because it's gonna be underneath that other pocket right so this is going in here like so straight-ish. This is just me using up scraps, okay? I had, so use whatever scraps you want to use. Use this freebie page I made for you. That's fine. Um, I don't like to have scraps left over. So I try to think of creative ways to use them. 
so that I don't have a bunch of scraps. I don't have room to, I don't do, like I said, I don't do collage per se. I do digital collages and that's fine, but I don't do collage. So I don't save all these little bits of this and that for that because, uh, no, <laughs> I don't have room for it. I, I'm sure a lot of people do, but I, I do not. So, okay, I'm going to take this off and try to remember it goes there. I'm going to take this one off and try to remember it goes there. And this, I'm going to try to remember it goes there. This one's going to be my long pocket that goes there. And I'm going to put it down as a side tuck one. I think being creative when we're, we're making our, you know, journals uh, to me it's fun it's uh problem solving um crafty style right since i don't save all those little bits and pieces of uh stuff for creating collages uh I don't know what other people save them for, but anyways, I don't do that. So I try to think of things that I can do to use them up so that I don't have just piles and piles and bags and bags and bags and stuff and stuff and stuff that uh, are always there in the way, trying to find another place to store them. I just don't have the room. I don't. So honestly, I have to either use them up or throw them out or whatever, you know, because I can't just store them all. So that's my dilemma, right? Anyways, so this is how I use up some of my scraps. I try to make sure when I design an element that I'm not going to have too much left over. Now, I don't let that be my guiding force on anything, right? But I try to make sure that I don't have too much um, left over that I can't just do something like this with, right? Okay, now this one is going to be a side tuck this way. That one opens up at the top. So this way, this way. Do that first. I have to talk to myself. It's a thing. I can't. For some reason, my little brain won't hold things in if I don't tell myself stuff. <laughs> I don't know. I, I'm my own kind of weird, and I know it. So there you go. So this one's going to go right there. So, yeah. Little pockets all over this page. I think that's cute. So I'll have to make some little teeny ephemera with some other leftover bits and pieces that way I don't waste so much I don't like wasting things but like I said I can't keep everything so all right here we go take this tape off of here and put this on here carefully <clears throat> right <laughs> and not upside down because that would be awkward because my pockets are directional now. Okay. All right. Clear some of this stuff out of the way. Okay. Yeah. Hey, it snowed here. Again. <laughs> it's been, this is the wettest um, winter I've ever seen in the desert. I mean, ever since I've been out here. It's uh, kind of crazy, but good. You know, we need the moisture. We need it all, but um, crazy good is what I mean. It's uh, it's awesome. It snowed so much last night <laughs> till it's kind of mounding up in places. Even on the tops of the fences and stuff. <laughs> it's pretty cool. <clears throat> okay. 
So I'm going to try to line this up here. Not stick my head in the camera there. All right. Yeah, line up, line up, line up. Uh, when you're doing a folio, you want to try to get your papers lined up if you're matting on both sides <coughs> the same ish as much as you can, right? Um, don't get into your fold, but get, you know, lined up pretty good. Sorry if I shook the camera. <clears throat> um, so you just want to make it as cohesive as a look as you can. <clears throat> okay. This is lightweight cardstock that I'm working with, so it's it's a little pliable. Even if you layer it up, you can still, whoops, I didn't get all that out. That is not a good idea to leave the tape backing in there. But yeah, you want to have it a little bit pliable so you can do this. <laughs> or that's what I do. Anyways, okay. There, there, and there, right? Okay, let me get this out of the way. All right. Oh, let me get the journal down here. Uh, we've got that more or less put together. I still have a few things I want to do to it, but where is my, um, I need some Velcro dots. I should have gotten them out beforehand, but I didn't. So, here we go. There they are. Excuse me. Sorry for having stuff all up in there like that. Okay, so I'm going to take this one, as per my usual, find my middle-ish point right in there, and stick it there, and then get this one to the right side, and get that off of there, and stick it onto here. Oh, it's very sticky. Okay, and then push that down. Ugh. Okay, now that's going to be nice. Um, yeah, when we fold that up, it'll fit in here like so. That's where it's going. Now, of course, I'm going to lace this up and stuff. I did measure it. It does fit. I don't know what. It's probably because I've got the camera on and I'm trying to yep, see it fits right in there. So, okay. Uh, I will put some lace on it because, yeah, you gotta. <laughs> okay, so that goes in there. Um, I had a couple other, oh, here we go. These I made, these are uh, inspired by G. Kerr. Uh, I love to watch her do her stuff, you know. So she was making some belly bands recently where she put, um, some of them she did with butterflies, some she did with different, different things. Anyways, she braided some twine or, uh, something and put some little elements down through it like that. I'll, I'll link her video down below because she can explain herself better than I can. And it looked really pretty. So I thought, well, Ooh, I'm going to use some of the elements from my kit. And so once I did that, I thought, well, I'm going to put some roses there. And I'm going to put, you know, I didn't um, braid anything. I used some of the burlap ribbon on this one. And I put lace, the little narrow lace on both sides of that. And then I thought, well, I need a little more something, you know. So I put the big lace behind it. This is an old... I don't know if you'd call it vintage or antique. It's really, really old. But it's not got any dry rot or anything. It's really good, in good shape. So I thought, well, I'm going to do that. <laughs> so I'm going to put this on here. Um, and use that as a, a belly band. And they'll be facing belly bands, right? <laughs> so 
that's I, it was simple I just put buttons here ribbon roses and the elements from my kit buttons and and that's one of the um, <clears throat> wax seals that I did a while back yeah so yeah it's just just putting some stuff onto a, a thing and, and putting it on your page all right so I'm gonna use this and and tack it down on each end and that will do it yep that will do it okay this I didn't do you know I didn't save one to do on on camera because well, it takes a lot of decision making, right? You're um, you're constantly saying, "Oh, do I want to put this here and this and here?" It would have taken a long time, uh, to because it it did. I just took my time and said, "Oh, I want this to look this way, and I want this here, and oh, buttons would be nice, and you know that kind of thing." And so, yeah, that's what I did. Um. It was just a fun, crafty afternoon, right, of putting that together. And then you've got, you know, your belly band under there. This is not going to stay there, but, you know. So you've got a belly band that's there. I think that's going to be really pretty. I'll make some stuff to go in there. Okay, so I did it with this part, these kinds, so I thought, well... You know, I got to do one with the other stuff. So this one is going to go over here. And I took it out, but it's going to go over here. Um, it's got, I put it on the red, uh, the, the gingham ribbon, the one that I used for the, the tags I made. And then I thought, well, mm, need more under there too. So I'll put the lace under that as well. And I was covering the thing up anyways because, yeah, you got cakes and cookies and I put a word there that says cookies. So you got ribbon roses. You've got little elements from the kit. That's another one of the wax seals. Roses in a heart, you know. This will be a great thing for like Valentine's Day or something. But, yeah, there you go. So I'm just going to do this one the same way I did the other one and put it on here. Uh... As a belly band. I think they're pretty. So I'll just kind of hold this here. So I can see where I need to put my glue. Uh, doesn't have to be perfect. Just, you know, on there good. Yeah. And double check that you're not gluing your pages together. Because that can get awkward later. Cut it out. Yep, that could get awkward later. Okay. I have done that before and had to fix a few things because of dunning that. So, here we go. Get this on here. And the, the glue I'm using is the Cosmic Shimmer or Art Glitter, whichever one's in my bottle. I'm not uh, too picky. It's just those two are my go-tos because uh, they work on what I want them to work on. And they dry clear. So if anything kind of shows through like here, you won't be able to see shiny anything. It just, you know, there you go. Okay, so now we've got our belly band that we can put things under there. Is that cool? That's really pretty. Okay. This little journal is coming together. It's getting cram-packed full of stuff, right? So we've got our, our little writing insert journal up here up front. And there's that. Just got some pages in to write on or whatever. And we've got our... This is our fold-out belly band one. Our lacy, elementy belly band one. 
We've got that one that we just put in. We've got this one. I haven't finished decorating that yet. <laughs> but we've got that one that's a side tuck. So we've got a few pages that don't have anything yet. Yet. Um, I've got this one. I put those little tags in uh, that came with the freebie. So that's in there. Come out of there. I don't want my lace to get stuck up in underneath. So that's the heart one that we took apart and put in there, right? Okay. And then that's our fold-out page with our little bits of stuff in. And we've got this one here that we put in. And the one we did today, our little folio. Cute, 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 right? This one's almost finished, this journal. Can't believe it. Wow. <laughs> It's just got some things that need to be decorated up and stuff, right? Okay. All right. Well, I hope you guys like that. Um, I hope you're following along and, and having fun with this cozy journal. If you don't buy the kit, Bookshelf by Julie, that's my Etsy shop. That's where the, the base kit is. Um, you still have plenty of things you can do with the freebies. So... If you want, if you make anything, please share it with me and let me know. That would be awesome. So I'll make some stuff to go in these little pockets here. All these little pockets. And lace that up. And then I've got to get some things, you know, put together and finish this off. Oh my gosh, it's almost I cannot believe it's almost finished. Oh well. <sighs> this is life. They get finished, don't they? Okay, well, still lots of other projects to work on, so. Okay, sarah, sarah. <laughs> okay, you guys have fun. Enjoy the, enjoy the journey of making these journals. Um, I don't call them junk. I like what the lady from Treasure Books calls them. Treasure Books, because to me they are. They're Treasure Books. We're making things that can hold our treasures and our memories and all that stuff. Awesome. Quit waffling now. You guys, please take care. Please like and subscribe. Thanks for watching. TTFN.